In this video, I'm going to show you how to install VKeyMod. Now, for those that don't know what VKeyMod is, it's a virtual modification system, which means that you can make changes to your car without actually overwriting the core files. This is ideal if you don't want to have to remake all your changes once you're upgrading your cart. So, as you can see, I've gone to vqmod.com, which takes us to the Google Code page. From here, we need to download the vqmod. Uh, now, there's two options available for the latest version, and as we're using OpenCart, we need to download the OpenCart version. So, we'll click the download link, and that's downloaded. So, let's open that up. Minimize that window and let's drag that onto our desktop okay so now that's extracted let's open up our FTP editor uh, client sorry. Uh, make sure you log in and that you're in your open cart folder it should be pretty obvious that you are if you've got the admin catalog download image and system folders and we actually want to place this into the folder the same folder as those So the recommended method is once we're in this folder, we drag VKMod onto the bar here rather than onto one of the folders. This means that it's not going to go into one of those folders. So let go of that. And you should, if you reload this page, now see VKMod in that folder as well. Okay, so once we've done that, we need to open up our browser and go to our domain name and then forward slash vqmod forward slash install. Press enter, and as you can see, it says that vqmod has now been installed on our system. For those that are having trouble with this, you need to make sure of two things. Firstly, that the folder that your index.php file is in is writable and that the file itself is writable as well. Uh, the same has to be true for your admin folder as well, so check the permissions on that. Make sure they're all writable and that the index.php file is also writable. Once you check that, you should be able to go to your storefront and it shouldn't actually have any errors. If you get some errors here that say that you can't see uh, that it's having trouble writing files, then you need to go back to your FTP client and into the VQMod folder and check permissions on the VQ cache folder. Make sure that you have right access to that because that's where all your files go. As you can see it's already made a few here. And you also need to make sure that your VQMod folder itself is writable. So make sure all those are checked. That's so that if there are any errors that VQMod can actually write to your log file to tell you what errors there are.